All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, question comes up a lot about either building or buying. And uh, I wanted to kind of touch on a couple of points in terms of what tools you want to consider when uh, looking to build your own. Uh, personally, this is one of the ones that I use for my builds. This is the Magpul, Magpul uh, Armors Wrench. Uh, as you can see, it has the teeth to engage a standard barrel nut. So you can use this to take off a standard barrel nut, such as that one right there. Of course, it looks completely different off of the gun, but a standard barrel nut, D-ring, everything on there. Also, you're going to be using that in conjunction with a torque wrench. I think I bought this one from Property Harbor, Fate, Harbor Freight. Uh, this is going to be set to foot pounds. Foot pounds are important when you're looking at it in terms of barrel nuts. Barrel nut being tightened. Of course, you already seen the standard AR, the standard barrel nut wrench. This happens to be the barrel nut wrench for the Geisley. For that rail right there. Every rail has a specific torque spec in terms of how tight that barrel nut should be on there. 30 to 80 is a standard is a standard for your uh, basic standard AR barrel nuts. Tighten between 30 and 80. Uh, also, when you, and this is another one for uh, the Nevesky, I have an NSR rail on one of my guns. So I use that in conjunction with my torque wrench. Speaking of torque wrench, something that's going to also come into play that will help you tremendously is the Wheeler Fat Wrench. I've had this one from probably whew, five, maybe six years. Actually, probably had this for about eight years. My wife got it for me as a present. So thank you, wife. That was a good little while ago. Uh, also, if you're looking into a good set of roll pin holders, this allows you to start your roll pin in. Case in point, this one. Is for a gas block, happens to be a Geisley. Doesn't really matter whose gas block, but they all set up the same for the most part. But it allows you to start that roll pin into the gas block. Once you start, once you have it started, you switch to a drive pin. And a good set will have a nipple on the end that allows you to stabilize. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but it allows you to stabilize and finish out and drive that roll pin th through flush or any other pin. Uh, with that being said, you're also going to probably want to consider other specialty tools. Well, I wouldn't call them specialty, but they help the job go easier. Uh, this bolt catch pin, and the reason it's helpful, it allows this to ride on the side of the receiver without making contact to allow you to drive that pin home flush. So just another idea. This is an ejector, excuse me, not an ejector. This is a takedown pin installation tool. As you can see, there's a hole in the end that goes all the way through that allows you to put the pin in, drop the takedown uh, pin in to the receiver and you give it a turn of 90 degrees and it locks it in so you can push that pin all the way through. Uh, what else do I have that may be of note? Uh, drive pins. A lot of times you'll be finding these if you have a standard A2, excuse me, a standard fixed sight gas block. Driving these pins out, you're going to need a good, good pin. Good drive pin to get that started. Of course, that, those have seen a little bit better days. So let a little moisture get to them. Uh, the AR wrench from from uh, Magpul gives you a alter, gives you options to use it different ways. Case in point, standard A2 flash hider if that needs to come off. You can use that to get a standard flash hider off. Also. It allows you to get a castle nut. These teeth engage the castle nut in its different notches right there. It allows you to engage that to get one off. 
So once you have gotten a castle nut off, once you put it back, important thing to remember is to stake it. That's not my staking, that's Colts, but they did a good job on theirs. Uh, think of other good tools. Oh, good, good idea. Bev Block happened to be Magpul. No real reason. I just happened to get it because they had a decent sale on them when I bought them. Uh, but this interfaces with the receiver, the barrel extension that allows you to work on things like the flash hider, uh, barrel, rails, things of that nature. When you're using one of these, of course, something that this, that's an important part, might happen to be in my garage, so I can't, I'm not showing you all that right now, but this sits into a vice. A vice is a very, very important part when you're building things to keep things as stable and as level as possible. Uh, think of anything else I may be missing. Roll pin punches, roll pin holder, ejector, not ejector, why do I keep saying that? Uh, take down pin installation tool that allows you to put your installation detent pin in, rotate it 90 degrees, slide your pin in behind it, and this comes out. Bolt catch installation pin. It's worth its weight in goals. Keeps you from marring the side of your receiver most of the time. Good starter. Good drive pins. Those are made by Starlet. Uh, this is a cool little tool I got when I was at uh, went to Knight's Armors course. But it allows you to take the bolt and insert it in there and allows you to drive out. There's a recess, a recess in it that allows you to drive out the ejector pin on a bolt. So, so if I can see if I can pull one of these bolts out real quick and let you see it. Hope everybody's having an amazing new year thus far. I'm trying to show you all this with one hand, which isn't the easiest, but I think we can make it happen. Maybe. All right, come on out. Apparently, I have a notification of some sort. All right. But I back this out. You can see. Allows you to compress your ejector allows you to compress your ejector so you can change that cool ejector pin that is rest right there and as you can see my gun is dirty because I shot it recently. And yeah, so no, I did not clean it. So sue me. Guns and EV ran can run. Excuse me, the AR family of rifles can run wet and dirty, not dry and dirty. So you can run a dirty gun wet, but once it dries up, that's the end of the game in most cases. So uh quick synopsis over things that you may need. A uh, good AR wrench from whoever you decide, a good one. Uh, bev block, or you can go Geisley reaction rod, a hammer. I normally use a smaller one. This is there for demonstration purposes. Uh, roll pin starters. Roll pin starters. Roll pin punches, drive punches for things like uh, uh, maybe like forward assist or for... Uh, Taking out a fixed front sight gas block. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? When you're staking, staking tools, punches you may use to drive material from the cat from the end plate into the castle nut. So you want to use that to use one a good punch to drive material from the end plate into the castle nut to avoid any anti-rotation. I think that's a basic overview. Uh, good vice, good punches. I uh, think that covers a majority of the bases. 
uh just a small video quick video for you all if you have any questions or concerns or anything you think i may have missed just reach out to me and uh keep doing your thing